Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to um, another video on the channel. I've got Lewis today because um, it's the first games under um, Ange Postcoglu. It's obviously pre-season ones, but it is important we see what you know what's Ange Postcoglu going to do for you know lineups such as that. So you're looking forward to them, Lewis? To see what Ange can do. I mean, like sort of. Mm. I mean, this is another team's team. Yeah. Who knows what the result will be? Um. To see what he can do. Yeah, um, five English sides will provide the opposition, and we will get our first glimpse of our new manager's tactics. Obviously, on July seventh, in a match against Sheffield Wednesday. Obviously, we've signed two players from, so potentially maybe that was a deal. You know what I mean? Like if you can we, yeah. sell, you know what I mean? <laughs> can we buy these two players off you? But you know. Mm. Um, uh, followed three days later by a game against Charlton Athletic, both from team the team's Newport base. Um, then on July 14th, uh, Ange will take his team to Bristol to take on Bristol City. Um, before, yeah, before heading back to Glasgow for his final two preparation games, he will face at Celtic Park, Preston North End with Invincible Scott Sinclair in their ranks and... Also, former Celt David Moyes brings his West Ham side to Celtic Park for a match that's sure to be an exciting one, maybe. We may as well do it before, it's also just a quick video guys discussing like, the, the teams where Celtic are facing the pre-season loss. What's your score prediction for the first game against Sheffield Wednesday? Where are you going for there? Celtic. Actually, no. I'm thinking maybe two nil Celtic is. Two nil. Hold on. Oh. So. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I was just turning the volume. All right. Yeah. Guarantee they will even be enough to make the beginning of the season. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna go for. Mm, I'll go three nil. Three nil Celtic. Um. Moving on. Uh. Oh, I'm just, uh, what, what, there's that one guy who's saying for. I don't know how to say his name. Oh, but, uh, um, Shaw. What? It's the other the Yeah, 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 hold on. Find his name. Oh, yeah, oh, it's a guy. What his name is, yeah? Uh, have you seen his TikTok, by the way? <laughs> yeah, I've seen it. Oh, Zazie, uh, you're get your giddy. Uh, he's weird, he's pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> He's an interesting signing. Hopefully, you can never play obviously centre back or right back. I did discuss that in uh, my previous video, but oh my god, just bring him right back. Yes. Um, and then we're on to Charlton. Lewis, what do you think for the Charlton Athletic game? Do you think? Yeah, I think we beat them. Beat them, yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not making a guess on how by how much, because it is Charlton Athletic. Fair point. Um, and then we play, uh, Bristol City. Um, we should beat him, as you always said there, um, a couple of minutes ago. And. Obviously, for his, his final two games in preparation for the new season, um, Andrew will take on former Celtic player uh, and his new team, Preston. Lewis, what do you think about that? Uh, obviously, Scott Sinclair's Preston team, what do you think? There. He never should have gotten rid of Scott Sinclair, but That's a fair Preston, point, yeah. I heard they're pretty mm. Also, I'm pretty sure Scott Sinclair is striker for them now, oh, so... Okay, okay. And obviously, um, I'm, I'm not going to probably... I mean, we could get a score prediction off you for the West Ham game. <laughs> yeah. Really, before we go, guys, let me just check us on the day of recording. The last couple of days of recording, right? 
the first the first video I was doing, um, Celtic sign um, Ozazi or Gide from Sheffield Wednesday, one point four thousand views, and twenty one likes. <laughs> And then the, the and then the second video I did Ange Postecoglou gives guarantee new Celtic signs, um, uh, that got one point five and forty five likes. That's just mad. And we're, the subscribers went up as well. We went up by about fifty three subs. One point seven one thousand seventy four subs. We're on currently now on recording this video. Yeah, we're on one point zero seven subs. One point zero one thousand seventy four subs. Yeah, one point zero seven. Yeah. Um, but yeah guys, thanks for watching, it's just a wee discussion on who Celtic's pre-season opponents are and we'll discuss a couple of um, uh, score predictions, so hopefully they come true, uh, it's not the West Ham one, I don't want to see Celtic at, I mean, they are West Ham, so, you know, I can't really expect much, but hopefully, uh, but I'll leave you guys uh, loose, I don't know if you watched it, but see the Celtic, the, the put out like a wee mic on Ange Postecoglou to, to hear what you've seen during a training session, right? And he was saying to the players at one point, um, we don't give up, we don't um, rest before, we rest at half time and rest at full time. We don't rest full day during the match. If the other players want to do that, we'll take our opportunity. That's fine for us, that's better for us. Do you know what I mean? And I like the fact that, I like the fact that he calls Barkas Barky. <laughs> I just like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so he seems like he's definitely a manager for both of those passion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And honestly, that's my kind of manager. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'm, I'm the sort of guy that thinks Ben and James Kerkowski, they've gone with a year better, like a proper team of Yeah. I want centre-backs or lunch and a couple of his knees. <laughs> right.